It's now my pleasure to present our student speaker of the Bay Area MBA class of 2019, Ananda Sen. Thank you, Dina Nava, and thank you, Chancellor May. April 20, 2014, Mumbai, India. It was my 25th birthday. I just returned the day before after spending the last week with my parents. I could have stayed one day longer and spent my birthday with them, but I didn't. Why didn't I? I'm still trying to answer that question. It's now the next day. I'd reached work and I was talking to my colleagues about my recent trip when I received a call from an unknown Oman number. I pick up and there's a man on the phone who says that my mom is with him and that she wants to speak to me. A few seconds later, she gets on the phone and says, I don't know how to tell you this. Your dad is no more. I couldn't believe what I was just hearing. He collapsed on the spot and they couldn't revive him. I didn't know how to, how to do anything at that stage. I felt completely helpless. I felt completely numb for what seemed like forever. All his ambitious dreams that he had for himself, his family and me, all gone in an instance. My 25th birthday, is the last day that I could have spent with my dad, but I chose not to. That is why I remember that day and the choices I made that day. However, I remember what my dad kept telling me. He wanted me to do my MBA. He wanted me to study in the US. He wanted me to elevate my career. You see, even though my dad may have left me that day, his vision for me never left me. I always remembered this, but it wasn't until 2017 when I finally started my MBA at UC Davis. It's not always easy coming back to school after so long, but we have some incredibly supportive faculty, staff, and my fellow classmates behind me. Among several other professors, two professors that had a profound impact on me were Doi Chantaferinder and Jim Olson. Doi taught us how to bring heart and intention into every interaction that we're a part of and helped me get over my fear of public speaking, well, to a certain extent. Jim Olson's quote is something that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. He said that the top 20% of employees always set aggressive goals for themselves. But what sets the top 5% apart is that they manage to achieve these aggressive goals regardless of the obstacles and have a larger vision for themselves. Along with my dad's vision and learnings from the professors that fueled my desire to take on every opportunity that I could get myself into in the GSM, that vision is what never made me stop. My story is just one of many. I'm sure all of you have your own stories. That something that you derive your strength from. That something that keeps you going when you don't think you could do any more. Think about it. If you have an exam at 8 a.m. and know you have to force that last concept in your head, did you give up? For all the mothers and fathers in this room, when your child was last sick, did you remember taking a break? It is that simple. Did those hard days ever stop you in your hopes of realizing your vision? Being a Bay Area student is not easy. You have to be smart, hardworking, resilient, and a little crazy. It means slipping in those finance and econ terms with our classmates so that we can fit in. It's also knowing that we are giving up all the free time that we possibly can have for two, three, or four whole years but knowing that none of us are the same people that we were when we started. And class of 2019, you did all get through this regardless of the obstacles that you may have had to face. But let's pause for a moment. We would not be here without the support of the people who cared most about us. I mean, our moms, dads, spouses, significant others, siblings, kids, grandparents, extended family, friends, classmates, and our larger GSM family. 
Thank you to everyone from the Bay Area and all our support. Like my husband, who has driven 105 miles and heard this speech at least 105 times. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I promise this is the last time. <laughs> Thank you to those who have driven and flown from across the country and around the world. You know, it's not easy to get here. Like my mom, who has flown 7,000 miles to be here. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who's watching this live. Like my grandparents and in-laws who are watching this from Kolkata, India, and Singapore. A special thank you to Dean Anava and all the faculty and staff at the GSM. We are truly appreciative of the personal care and willingness to go the extra mile to support us whenever we need it. As we graduate with our newly minted MBAs today and walk across the stage, always remember that thing that kept you going. Remember that the opportunities of today may not always be available tomorrow. That is why today is so important to me. Today is the day that I can finally say I have fulfilled my dad's vision. But remember, class 2019, this is not goodbye. This is see you in two or five or 10 or 20 years when we're all significantly smarter, wealthier, funnier, successful, and better looking than we are right now. <laughs> and everyone, I hope that you will always, always, Remember this day. Thank you.